This is a death row inmate. And when you're on death row, you're given one last meal request. And today, we're gonna be eating some of the strangest last meal requests, starting with worms. Yeah! This doesn't bother you at all? Huh, I've seen worse. He's here because he's gonna tell us exactly what being on death row is like. H.H. H. Holmes was a con artist who claimed to be possessed by Satan. He turned his house into a torture chamber and built a hotel to lure in tourists. He was later on caught and confessed to murdering 27 people. And before his execution, he was trapped in one of his own torture chambers, the Copper Bowl. Now Tanner, are you ready to eat the worms? I'm not eating that. If you don't eat the food, you have to go through an extreme punishment. Well, how bad is the punishment? You're gonna have to stay tuned and find out. Now let's move on to the next meal. This next Next death row inmate is the reason parents check their kids' Halloween candy. Ronald Clark O'Brien handed out cyanide laced pixie sticks to children on Halloween, including his eight year old son, to cash out on his life insurance policy. Before he was executed by lethal injection, his last meal request was bacon wrapped filet mignon, baked potato with sour cream and chives, corn on the cob, deveined shrimp, asparagus with hollandaise sauce, French bread with butter, goat cheese, canned loaf, vanilla ice cream, and iced tea. Fun fact your last meal is actually scheduled two days before you're executed because you're not allowed to eat 48 hours prior to your execution so you don't poop yourself oh my god I gotta stop doing videos like this if I'm trying to be in shape Alex stop it you are in shape I am yeah round is a shape Wow Cat, are you calling my son Patty? <laughs> <laughs> Our next death row inmate is the oldest to ever be put on death row. Viva Leroy Nash shot and killed a police officer and spent 70 years in prison. When he was executed at the age of 94, he was already deaf, blind, and in a wheelchair. For his last meal, he ate popcorn with ketchup, hamburger with cinnamon rolls as the buns, and hot dog with jelly. I thought I was gonna eat good food. You know what kind of food they serve in prison? What's the prison like? You can't even eat at the same table with different races or even hang out with them. Oh my god. What happens if you do? What gets out, you are gonna get jumped in the shower. Wait, 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 I, I have a question. Have you ever dropped a soap on purpose? This next death row inmate had one of the happiest last meals. David Wood was convicted of murdering six girls and buried their bodies in the desert. Before his execution, his last request was to have pizza and birthday cake with his family. And lucky for us, we don't have friends. We have family. Happy birthday to you. Oh! I was aiming for the cake. He's fine. Alex? Alex? Alex, you okay? All the kicks no, you do. messed up. The next death row inmate had one of the strangest last meal requests. Shang Chi went from being a prostitute to a notorious pirate who controlled over 2,000 ships and 70,000 pirates. For her last meal, she had a century old duck egg. Oh my god, that looks so much nastier up close. Um, what happens if we don't want to eat this? Then you'll have to go through a punishment! Alright, we'll eat this, but you guys have to subscribe since we're only doing this for you guys. Oh my god. Down three, okay, Alan? One, two, three. You gotta swallow it. Oh my god, it actually tastes like it's rotten. Oh my god. I have to eat the whole thing, Sean? Oh yeah. I gotta swallow it whole like you do. <laughs> like Tanner's balls. Shang-Chi was actually executed from tickle torture, which doesn't sound bad, but it's actually one of the most cruel punishments. When you're tickled for hours, it can actually lead to a brain aneurysm, a heart attack, or loss of breath. Tanner, because you didn't eat the worms earlier, your punishment is tickle torture. Now before your punishment, what is your last request? Just make sure Sean doesn't tickle my balls. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. All right, bring in the peanut butter! Oh. Yeah! yeah. Tickle torture punishment. We're gonna move on to the next death row inmate. Isn't this the peanut butter I stuck my dick inside? <laughs> The next death row inmate is the reason you have to wear a diaper before being executed. John Spinkelink was a twice convicted felon and a prison escapee. During his escape, he killed a hitchhiker and robbed many others. Before he was executed by the electric chair, his last meal request was grilled cheese, hominy, radishes, peach pie, cottage cheese, and ice cream. All right, I'm hungry. Let's dig in. Mm. I feel like every single inmate requested ice cream. An interesting fact about the electric chairs, they make you put on a diaper because you lose muscle control and can poop yourself when you die. 
<laughs> Honestly, it's not that bad. But can you untie me, please? Guys! Our next inmate was a pirate named Blackbeard. Edward Teach captured ships, cargoes, and sailors until his demands were met. He would also kill anyone who entered his water. He was later betrayed by his own crewmates, and before he was decapitated, his last meal was octopus. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. All right, Sean, you gonna eat this octopus? No, but I'll eat that octopus. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, because you didn't want to eat this octopus, you're gonna have to go through an extreme punishment later on in this video, so stay tuned. What, what punishment? Our next inmate was one of the smartest to ever be put on death row. Belle Gunness, known as Hell's Bell, married up to 15 men and killed them for their life insurance money. Woo! Girl power! Get that back, sis! Hellcat? Cat, that's not a good thing because she was later on caught and burned alive at the stake. For her last meal, she requested money and obviously we're not gonna eat this so we're gonna give it to you if you subscribe right now on top of that we're gonna be coming to your school for our next video so if you guys want us to go to class with you hang out with you and be in a YouTube video then all you have to do is subscribe the next death row inmate had the craziest execution story Alan Lee Davis murdered Nancy Dweller and her two daughters he was sentenced to death by the electric chair and on the day of his execution it was botched and he was still half alive he became the last person to be put to death by the electric chair and for his last meal, he had lobster tail with steak, half a pound of fried shrimp, french fries with cheese bread, and a root beer. Alright, let's dig in. Have you ever been in a fight in prison? <sighs> Every day. Survival log. I was once jumped by two guys with knives. The only reason I survived, a settlement told me before. And the guards do nothing? <laughs> they just watch. You think you have what it takes to survive in prison? No. You think you hard? No. But I am. Our next death row inmate had one of the nastiest last meals. Napoleon Bonaparte was a French military leader during the French Revolution who led several successful campaigns during the Revolutionary War. He was eventually charged with treason and exiled to an island where he was later executed by the Iron Maiden. Before he was executed, his last meal was fried crickets. Oh! I'm not eating that. I'm not eating that either. Then who's gonna eat it? I will! <laughs> But cat, if you don't want to go through a punishment, you actually have to eat a cricket. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, no! It actually kind of tastes like burnt chicken. You know, in some countries, fried cricket is a delicacy. We just know everything about food. Wow! Our next death row inmate had one of the funniest last meal requests. Dr. Death killed over 250 of his patients by injecting them with a lethal dose of painkiller. For his last meal, he ate... Pizza on pineapple. You mean pineapple on pizza? No, no, he actually ate this. So, uh, I gotta eat this too? Yeah, try it, it's pretty good. It's not bad. You know, right before he was supposed to be executed, he actually hung himself. Now, what would your last request be? A lot of ice cream and video games. Our next death row inmate had one of the tastiest last meals. Gary Gilmore robbed and murdered two men at a gas station. And while getting rid of the murder weapon, he shot his hand by accident. He was caught because he left a trail of blood from the crime scene to his house, making him the dumbest inmate. For his last meal, he requested a 21-piece KFC chicken bucket, two large Domino's pizzas, ice cream with bananas, and a six-pack of Pepsi. All right, let's dig in. Oh, my God. Man, this really is the tastiest last meal. And you know, fun fact, before he was executed by the firing squad, his last words were, see you in hell. Now, how's ice cream, Kat? Mmm, it's really good. Wasn't this ice cream supposed to come with bananas? Where's the banana? It's right here. Oh, God! This next death row inmate was eating at Five Guys before it became a restaurant. Ed Gein was a cannibal who inspired Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He was also known as the Butcher of Plainfield and would make shirts, masks, dresses, belts, and furniture out of human skin. Before he was executed by the electric chair, his last meal request was a human finger. Oh, so he was a cannibal. Well, I got a joke for you. What do cannibals use to freshen their breath? Men toes. <laughs> that was a good one. This next death row inmate requested a meal that was still alive. Yu Young Chu was a Korean self-confessed cannibal who killed and 
over 20 prostitutes. When Yu Young Chu was caught, he was tortured for months before they got a confession out of him. In most Asian countries, death row inmates don't know when their execution date is, so they wake up every day thinking it might be their last. Before his execution, he requested his last meal to be a female dog. And that's because he referred to the women he killed as bitch. Our next inmate wasn't too happy about what she had to eat for her last meal. Bonnie Parker from Bonnie and Clyde was one of the most famous females. She was known for her bank robberies and killed at least nine police officers. For her last meal, she ate bullets because she was ambushed and shot to death. The moral of the story is girls can do anything. Well, technically that's true, except she had to eat bullets. Well, what would your last meal be, Alex? I would probably get ice cream from McDonald's because I'd still be alive since the ice cream machine is never working. Sean, it is now time for your punishment because you didn't eat the octopus from earlier. Now, what is your last request before your punishment? For this video to get one million likes. If this video gets one million likes, then I I'm gonna blind date with one of you guys. That's what's happening right now. What? Yeah! Ah, no! Yeah! <laughs> your <laughs> last no! request. No! Yeah! <laughs> Click here to watch us face 100 fears in 24 hours and click here to watch your last video.